Today I'm going to be changing the fuel filter for the first time. If you've never done this before, uh, maybe this will give you a few hints as to how, how it works here with this Kubota. Every one of them is a little bit different. Every tractor has a slightly different filter system. This one has a little O-ring. You want to keep track of that O-ring. And uh, that filter is located right there. There aren't any fuel shutoff valves on this tractor, so we're just going to spin that cartridge off. I discovered they had those wires right there zip tied together, and they were pressing up so hard against that case that I couldn't, I couldn't spin it off. So I decided to take that zip tie off. That way I can lift those, those wires up out of the way there. And now we can get to this thing and uh, it'll spin off freely. And as you turn it, of course your fuel is going to run, run out. And in this case, they must have a float valve up in there that stops that fuel. Alright, and there's an O-ring, a big one, and then in the center there's a small O-ring. So we'll take that larger O-ring out and, and put that aside because we're going to reuse that. Now I discovered uh, that taking off this fuel uh, filter was was quite a trick. I wasn't sure if it was threaded on or if it was just uh, pushed down in there. And it turned out if I used a little screwdriver, I, I could get it out of there. And this, this fuel filter really needed to be changed. You can see the bugs in there. Okay, so we'll open up the, the new filter here and again there's a little o-ring and in th this case they've got it taped right to the side of the uh, filter cartridge there so so that you won't stand a chance of losing that so I'm going to stick it right on my paper towel there so I don't lose it now here's the old filler and you can sure see the difference all right so we'll put that little o-ring down in there and then the large one's going to go on like this. Here you can see where that zip tied lines squeeze that uh, cartridge right there. Now, that won't be good. I'm not going to put that uh, tie back on. Now on this, there's uh, places where you're going to line up your, your new filter. Some little nubs there to squeeze down over. Now we'll put our large O-ring back on, get that seated down in there, and now when we when we spin this back on, the fuel will start to come out again. You can see it there, and as you get that thing tightened up, that O-ring will take care of sealing it off. So that's their system they have for uh, for shutting off that fuel when you are changing your cartridge. Kind of a messy job, but it works. Now they say to uh, start the tractor and run it for 30 seconds. And uh, while it's running there, I'll, I'll come around and, and look at that filter and make sure it's not leaking. So there you go. I hope that helps you uh, change out your fuel filter and what I like to do too is uh, write it in my book so I know when I when I change these things and the previous owner of this tractor had done that with his oil changes first second third oil change and I, I wrote this one down and I also changed the air filter thanks for watching everybody